All right, let's do it. Three. Swap it, spaceman. Mark's style. Flexible vinyl. Painted equipment pack. Colors are odd. So it might be somewhat later in their production cycle, or they may not be by Marks at all. And like the Moonbase Alpha set, simply have those characteristics of the uh, painted equipment pack and the, the poses that Marks used, of which there were three. I grazed, glazed right over on inspecting their packs, or at least the sides of them. No markings. No markings. And no markings. And it's also odd that they're all pink. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to suggest that this pink is not a correct Lewis Marks era color and that these may represent the form after he had sold the company and whoever ended up with the molds and the machinery just kept making them in their own way. They have the painted features including the, uh, the painted legs. There's the inside of the uh, pack. We're trying to flatten it out and see if there's any marking along the belt which is where we've been seeing the uh, Hong Kong marking on the copies. So these are simply unmarked. And again, I'm quite taken by the similarity with the uh, group here in this Moonbase Alpha kit. So a week later, after looking at these endlessly side by side, I'm pretty convinced that they were made by the same person. Whoever made the Moonbase Alpha figures Press the molds on these figures too. Whether they were marks, I don't know. And if we can look here for just a minute at, they're pretty fresh. They don't have the, the evidence of aging that I would expect. Oh, the silver on his helmet. I've been fretting, uh, painting the details on my, on my spaceman, and it's reassuring to see how sloppy these professional jobs are uh, he's a little fresh he's probably you know new old stock or whatever but there's a little bit of plastic rot there on the back or plastic burn um, but they it, you know it looks like they've never been played with it's the one that I partly deconstructed and again there's no indication of any logo markings but they're completely, they're, everything about them is consistent with Mark's. Except the pink, and I can't let go of it. Like I said, we're going to have fun editing all, all this together, but another similarity between this Moonbase Alpha crew is that their boots are painted in one swipe of paint, or, or, or one single color. Whereas this guy, it required two passes. First a blue pass and then a white pass on his feet. And he's definitely marked. He's not, he doesn't have a logo on him. But 1960s on the right. On the left, early to mid-1970s. Maybe even right around the time that Lewis Marx sold off the company. Divested of his Hong Kong holdings liquidated the factory and somebody ended up with the molds maybe the question should be how long were people producing these and where were they producing them since there's no hong kong on it he may have been made in taiwan which marx does make note of on uh, their blister pack Yeah, so who knows where they were made and by whom. 
but they are consistent with Mark's Swap It Spaceman figures. And the pink could just simply be a, an attempt to appeal the cake topping decorators. Better match for the frosting. 